Hey everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and today I have the rematch of the Boros Mirror match for you. Duke's opening hand was a Lightning Bolt, three Scalding Tarns, a Step Links, an Earthquake, and an Arid Mesa. Kyle was on the play, but Duke was the first one to cast the spell with the turn one Step Links. For Kyle's second turn, he simply cracked both his fetch lands, searching for a mountain and a plains, dropping him to 18. Duke starts his next turn by dropping a Scalding's Horn, pumping his Steplings to a 2-3, and he crashes for the first time in the game. On Kyle's turn, he casts his first spell of the game, which is a Plated Geopede. Duke plays a Scalding's Horn and cracks it, pumping his Steplings. He then bolts Kyle's Plated Geopede, and then sends his Steplings to the red zone. However, Kyle has a path ready to get rid of the Steplings, and then doesn't take damage this turn. Kyle drops his fourth land and casts a range of Eos. He searches for a Goblin Guide and a Goblin Bushwhacker. On Duke's turn, he takes down the range of Eos with an Earthquake for two, and then passes his turn. On Kyle's turn, he casts an Elite Vanguard, a Goblin God, and then kicks them with a Bushwhacker, and then takes them to the red zone, revealing a range of Eos on top of Duke's library. Duke responds by exiling the Elite Vanguard with his path, and then takes the other five damage. On Duke's turn, he casts a Ranger of his own, and searches up a Step Links and a Bushwhacker. Kyle casts his second Ranger of Eos of the game and fetches up two Goblin Gods. He then casts one of the Goblin Gods and swings with two of his Goblin Gods, revealing a Bushwhacker on the top of Duke's library. Duke responds by cracking one of his fetch lands and reshuffling his library, and then reveals a plate of Geopede on the top for the second God. He decides to block one of the Gods with his Ranger of Eos and take the other two damage. Duke casts his Step Links and a plate of Geopede and then lays down land for the turn to pump them. He then casts a Bushwhacker to kick them and swings. Kyle decides to block with his range of Eos and his Bushwhacker, and then Duke cracks one of his fetch lands to keep his two dudes alive. On Kyle's turn, he starts out by attacking with his Goblin Guide, revealing a Goblin Guide on the top of Duke's library. Duke decides to chump block it with his Bushwhacker. Then Kyle casts an Earthquake for four to wipe the board. On Duke's turn, he casts his Goblin Guide and attacks, revealing an Elspeth on the top of Kyle's library. Kyle takes the damage and then reveals an Earthquake to Duke, and that's the end of the game.